if they wanted to, uh, but they really don't care about stopping illegal immigration. Biden is there today to look at a sanitized El Paso uh, so that he can do all he can to help and aid the illegal immigrants as opposed to stopping them from coming into our country. Maybe the tone of this will change uh, when he goes to the county facility, but but so far, I mean, this is, this is very much a dog and pony show. Yeah. Didn't look like he was going to be headed to downtown El Paso, which is where we had seen many of the migrants who had uh, been living on the streets of Segundo Barrio. I've always said, if you see it on TV, be skeptical. And that's never been more true than it is these days, with the media and government acting like something out of 1984 or The Running Man. If you're somebody on the left or a Democrat who's watching this video, be honest and ask yourself, if it were Trump right now trying to cover up the truth, wouldn't the media be all over it? Of course they would. But if you do a quick search for El Paso cleared, the only thing you're gonna find are links to right-leaning papers like the Washington Examiner and Fox, but none of the other channels are touching it. Showing us once again that our media, the former fourth estate, are enabling and supporting the sort of deceptive corruption that we usually see from China, Russia, and North Korea. How does that make you feel? You pissed John. You might have already heard that Biden finally visited the border during a time that they already knew was a low point in illegal crossings. Months after tens of thousands have already illegally crossed. Now, the part that's really going to bring your piss to a boil. Ahead of the visit, miraculously, El Paso authorities cleared up all the illegals and encampments. That's right. Just like any dictatorship does before a visit from the media or dignitaries, the Bind and his lackeys have turned El Paso from this into this. Unsurprisingly, El Paso is a Democrat-run city, and according to them, it's a total coincidence that the cleanup happened ahead of Biden's visit. Up until just one week ago, outside of a judge-ordered civil action, law enforcement has been prevented from immediate proactive enforcement or cleanup of the camps. It's only being cleaned up now as the result of a civil action by a Democrat attorney's office, which so conveniently concluded on December 29th. Despite Democrats insisting it's inhumane Maine to bust these immigrants to Martha's Vineyard, New York, or Kamala Harris's house. I think that the Governor Abbott's, what he's doing is just so inhumane. Where the cities are unable to deal with them. It's just different when they do it. <laughs> but the Border Patrol ain't buying it and tweeted out their frustration saying, quote, El Paso being cleaned up as if nothing unusual ever happened there, just in time for Biden's visit to the border. We suggest just landing in Des Moines, Iowa and telling him it's El Paso. So, and he'll never know the difference. <laughs> <laughs> And again, this is because everyone knows that January is a low point in these illegal crossings. The Border Patrol Union also tweeted out that large crowds of immigrants had been detained by Border Patrol agents overnight and that patrols had been ramped up ahead of the Biden regime's Kabuki theater. None of this should be surprising from a regime that has proven over and over that they will coerce big tech to silence major voices of dissent against their policies. A totally normal thing in a democracy with a Bill of Rights that guarantees free speech. Later today, we're gonna to be seeing the reporting on Biden's visit, and I predict that the only scrutiny that we'll see of him is what he's gonna to do to increase illegal crossings. All right, folks, that's it for that one. If you're bored, come and join us on Discord. You can find the link for that in the description or pinned comment. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, share, and leave a comment to let us know what you think. Thanks a lot. I'll see you on the next one.